Hello everyone, I'm Geeta and welcome to the Momentum Lab channel. This is the second video in the series where we are presenting the top five Momentum small cases available to us. Uh, the background of the series is that there is no comprehensive tools out there that allow us to compare one small case to the other and understand how the performance is, unlike tools that are available for mutual funds. So before getting into the detailed video, let me just give you a small disclaimer that I am not a SEBI registered financial advisor and any content of this video uh, may be treated only as educational advice and not as a financial advice. So any financial decision that you would be taking should be based on the suggestion of your financial advisor. Now, uh, without further ado, let's get into the video. So we have made a first video in the month of May where I have detailed why exactly we are doing this analysis? Why do we need to do a comprehensive analysis and comparison of small case strategies that are available to us? And how do we conduct this entire analysis? What are the different tools, parameters, uh, data points, etc., that we will be considering? So for anyone who has not watched the first video, it is beneficial to get a background of how to do all of this. Uh, and I'm going to be linking that in the description, linking a video for anyone who has not watched the first video, it is going to be extremely beneficial to watch the first video. So I'm going to be linking it in the description here for your benefit. Now, just to give a small recap of the ranking methodology that we use while giving a ranking to all of this momentum small cases, we have five steps in it. The first one is where we choose the entire universe of small cases, which we are going to compare. And the second step is where we eliminate any small cases that do not run for or that have not been running for at least three years. So why is it three? Why is it not two, five, one, four? So there are so many different numbers that we can take. Why is it only three has been explained in part one. As a third step, again, we will be uh, looking at Nifty 50 as a benchmark index and understand uh, and eliminate any small case strategies that have not beaten the CAGR of Nifty 50 index. As a fourth step, we will be looking at a much more comprehensive index, which is the Nifty 200 Momentum 30 index. And we will select only those small cases which were able to beat the CAGR of the Nifty 200 Momentum 30 index. Now, whatever is remaining will be the final list for us, which needs to be ranked as the top five. The ranking of this top five is going to be done using something called a Sharpe ratio. And this Sharpe ratio is nothing but the excess written that we get when we make an investment. So on a good day, our Sharpe ratio has to be greater than one. So that is when we consider that our Sharpe ratio is good. Now, before getting into the video, let me also show you how the benchmark indices are looking this month. The first one is uh, the Nifty 200 Momentum 30. We have its CAGR 3-year uh, CAGR at 25.93%. And for the Nifty uh, Nippon Bs, Nifty Nippon Bs, uh, the 3-year CAGR is 16.87. Now, let me take you through in detail uh, all of the different small cases that we have identified and how they have performed this month. Over here, we have a detailed analysis. We have 39 different momentum small case strategies that we have considered. It is It remains the same as the month of May and out of which 17 small case strategies have been running for more than three years. In fact, I think in a month or two, uh, we will probably be finding a few more small cases make its way into the ones that have been running for more than three years. Currently, just like May, we have 17 strategies. However, what's interesting is how these small cases have performed with respect to the benchmarks. Coming to the Nifty 50 benchmark, we have around 12 or uh, 15 uh, strategies that have beat the Nifty 50 benchmark, which was only 12 the last month. So we have three more strategies added to this category. Now, coming to the Nifty 200 Momo um, category, we have six small cases that have beat the CAGR of Nifty 200 Momo 30 index as well, which was five the last month. Essentially, there is an increase in the number of small cases that are beating the indices. Now, going back, let me give you a small recap. 
we have considered 39 momentum small cases 17 of which have been live for more than 3 years we have 15 that have beaten uh, nifty 50s cagr and we have 6 that have beaten the nifty 50 uh momo th- sorry nifty 200 momo 30 index now the list of the top 5 for june 2024 are windmill capital right research vinio india weekend investing and flame bank so this particular table shows you in detail what is the strategy who is the manager what has been the cagr and sharpie ratio we have a blog that details out the entire process analysis and also Uh, the data which is provided in this particular video i will be linking that as well in the description and i urge all of you to go and check it out now if you also want to see how uh, you know the small cases strategies have performed in the month of may there is also the part one video which speaks about it and there's also a blog attached to that now let us see how uh, our small cases perform and uh, uh, stay tuned for the july video thank you so much for joining in